Eric Schmidt is here, a former CEO of Google, of course, and doing so much in so many other spaces as a philanthropist. He's now the founder of Schmidt Futures. And we should mention that NBC Universal News Group is a media partner of the Aspen Ideas Festival. Eric, it's great to have you here. Thank you again. So I'm going to talk about, here's what I just want to, we've been talking about markets all morning. You, you heard what Jim just had to say. Uh, before that, uh, we had the president of the New York Fed. What are you, you've been through a lot of rodeos, especially in the Valley, in terms of valuations and what's happening. What do you think is happening? Where do you think we are? You know, the tech industry makes its own weather. And we made too much of a storm. We got a little ahead of ourselves, and it's a correction. Uh, but we, we have our own logic. If our products work, we boom. And our next generations of products are going to work. So we'll do fine. Um, the big issue is all these employees who had stock options that are now worthless. they got to right. deal with that. But aside from that, it'll be fine. It's going to be fine. But, I mean, are, there's gonna be, is this going to be carnage? I mean, is this, is this no. 2001? What no. is this no. to you? No, there's in immense capital. There's enormous amounts of ideas. There's lots of startups getting started. I've been in funding them. Uh, along with all, all sorts of other people. These cycles go on and on and on. And the problem is a lot of these people are young and they've never been through a cycle. So welcome, you get another shot in a couple of years at all your greatness. But is this the opportunity then to invest? In, is, this, is this one of those moments where you say, okay, actually things are on sale? This year, mm -hmm. this is going to be a good year. A good year for things that are on sale? Yes. A terrible, a terrible year if you had to sell at this yes, price. Absolutely. Again, remember that tech trades like options. Right. So the volatility is higher, but the option value is enormous. Um, let's also talk about uh, what's happening in G7 meeting. Yeah. Uh, you spend a lot of time thinking about China. Uh, G7 thinking a lot about China and what they should be saying uh, to China about, quote, non-market practices. What do, what do you well, think? Look, there, there's lots of things that China does that we don't like. The way they run their business, the way they treat their people, certainly the, tr the way they treat Uyghurs and so forth and so on. It's all terrible. We need to figure out a way to win against product competitiveness with China. I mean platforms. I don't want to be using Chinese platform technologies, Chinese chips, Chinese networks, and so forth. I want American or Western stuff in that. I don't want our communications, our society, intermediated by them. Which brings us to the CHIPS Act. Exactly. Um, which, uh, which we passed Everybody years says ago. we want, and right. we've passed, and yet we don't have. Look, here's the biggest challenge facing America in the long term, which is the question of competitiveness with China. They want to dominate all of the key industries of economic growth of America. AI, synthetic biology, new energy, I can go on. They want to do all of that. We passed a law more than a year and a half ago. It's also through, commission, through the, the House, and now we can't get it through, through to uh, the necessary steps to get it passed. It's crazy. What do you think is happening? Why? I think it's just sclerosis in the government because people are focused on other things. Compared to all the other crazy things the government does, this thing is bipartisan. It's important for American competitiveness. And let me tell you why. All of a sudden, we're having uh, a good thing the Trump administration did is they got Samsung and TSMC to build chips in the U.S. It's more expensive to build chips in the U.S. In, in the last 30 years, 36 mega factories were built in China 24 in the rest of the world, zero in America, because our cost of construction is too high. You're going to have to subsidize that. This is straightforward economics. For national security, we need to pay right. a little extra to have control over this essential part of are, the supply chain. Are you chain. a believer that ultimately, and I don't know what you think the timeline is, that China does take over Taiwan, and that's what, that's what is the pressure point here? Uh, my, my, I'm not an expert in this. I think it's going to be a while, and that's my own opinion, because... The issues of the integration of China and the U.S., they can't risk a, a divorce from the U.S. over the U.S. dollar, which is right. an untold story about this relationship. But nevertheless, it's important that America have Western access to the key technologies of, of the technology re revolution, which is the semiconductors. Right. We made a decision in the 90s to get out of those businesses, even though we invented every one of them, largely because of cost. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.